This is the old lab rat here. My channel is an eclectic channel. It covers a lot of different things, including things such as ion foot cleansing and dousing, which are two subjects for t today's video. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the uh, bell notification so when I put up new videos, you'll be informed about them. But let's get on with this. When we do our ion foot cleansing, I use a uh, battery charger. And if you look at my ion foot cleanse videos, I, I go into that. My wife likes these Coleman power supplies for the Coleman coolers. I don't because if you put too much salt in your foot cleanse, it will blow the fuse in here. And that's a fuse that's soldered into the circuit board. It's kind of a pain to replace it. But anyhow, her device was not working. So I uh, went to check on it. And when I plugged it in, I got a power light. So I knew I had power to there. But then I wasn't sure when that fuse went. I couldn't remember if the light would go out or not. So then what I did is I took my pendulum, nice fancy pendulum here, it's just a little kid's top with a tassel hung on it, and what I get for pendulum readings is if my body wants something, the uh, pendulum, if it wants something, it'll spin clockwise. If it doesn't want something, it'll spin counterclockwise. Now I have, um, if you look at my spirit field research video, I talk about a, a, a strange field that I, I'm actually working in that, that stays with me and it actually causes my body to be high in negative ions which is a healthy thing and so if I hang this pendulum over the end of the socket it goes negative because it does not want any more negative ions and for outlets and cigarette lighters and stuff, if you look down in there, that little button at the very bottom, that's the positive. The ring outside here is negative. So, I get a negative reading on here, which doesn't tell me anything because it's the positive that goes bad when, when the uh, circuit, when the fuse breaks. But if I go here where that button is, then I get a positive reading. And to double check myself, I took with my left hand, which is holding the camera right now, but I put my left hand on this so I'd pick up the ions that are flowing off that little button that's down in there. And when I put my finger on here, my left hand on here, my right hand, the pendulum would start to swing clockwise, which means I was letting my body absorb the positive ions from here and now it wanted the negative ions to balance it out but when I removed my hand again from that the pot the reading went from being positive to being negative which told me that I had a positive current here negative current here so the, the actual power supply was fine and then the way she, what she uses is an adapter on hers, an extension, and it's got the two ends on it here, positive and negative. And these have a built-in fuse inside of these, which is pretty easy to replace. And if she has it plugged in and accidentally taps these two together, it will blow that fuse out of there. So to find out if the fuse was bad, I simply plug this into here. And then I went to the two ends. And I checked and I got negative reading here. But when I went to this end, I got nothing. Absolutely nothing. I had no positive power. So then I thought, well, I wonder if it's in the connection here at the end. Because sometimes they will they will corrode. So I went down here to where the the ions, the positive ions, will be flowing off the off the, the cord. And I got a positive reading. But when I checked up here, I got no reading at all. Positive reading. No reading. So I knew I had a problem with the connection here. So I cut this plastic open, which was shrinking. It was getting kind of brittle. 
and let's see if I can do this by hand here there we go and what I found when I took this apart is that little screw everything in here was corroded the cord was corroded the screw was corroded the threads were corroded I think what had happened was she had to let this slip down into the water and so the water had gotten in there so I took the screw out took the cord out the wires and I cleaned them up oil them up put them back together and now the thing is flowing out the end and let me hang my pendulum over it and now it gives me the positive reading now I could have like other people just got an electrical connect an electrical reader and done it that way but it's so much easier for me to do it with a pendulum but just like that I was able to uh, find the problem and fix the problem this will not work on AC current because it's switching 60 times a second but it will work on DC current where the positive and negatives are are constant but that's just another example of how I use dowsing and yeah it works